Hello, everybody. It's Rocky, and you know what time it is. It is a vlog day. So I am sat with, I'm not going to pan down with undies on. I am about to get dressed. I think I've picked out what I'm going to wear today. It's a combo of this sort of hoodie dress and some other things. We'll see how that works out. Had it in my head, kind of how I wanted to rock it. We'll see how that plays out. You know, me and my, you know, late night outfit ideas, those don't really work out. I've showed you that before. <laughs> So anyway, we're going to get right into it. Um, I did have some deliveries that are coming in today, but I've decided I'm just going to do a full on video with those new things that are coming in. And today we're just going to do the Chicago thing and talk. Hopefully that doesn't bore you, but we're going to get right into it. So I am mostly dressed. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but like, look at my, well, you can't tell. My face is pretty shiny and greasy. This is, I shared with you before that this is the main reason why I don't do um, face, uh, include my face in my outfits of the day. I do headless selfies because my face is so greasy. So I'm like, that doesn't look good. So I just stick to what I got on. So let me um, show you my outfit and what I'm working with. So this is the outfit of the day. I told you it would be that, um, the sweatshirt dress that we talked about and this is that so i put a blazer on top of it and this is what i was in my dream or in my vision seeing with some tube socks as you can see here um which captures all of the colors that i have on what i'm struggling and then i have on this um chunky necklace from uh silver room i absolutely love this necklace this was a gift from hubby and then I am struggling with which shoe I want to try out. Let's see if you can see that. Um, it's hard to see. We have a Timberland boot. It's hard to see for you guys, actually. We have the Louis Vuitton boot. Louis Vuitton boot. So let me say that correctly. And then we have a Navy dark, Doc Martin boot. I'm not sure. I feel like the Doc Martin is better. These two give me a cool little contrast. So this one kind of matches my skin, gives me a little contrast. This one just um, heightens the look a bit, but it doesn't you know, go with anything because I have on silver and this is gold. And then the Doc Martin looks the best, I think, because it kind of goes with, this is actually a navy blue, not a gray in my blazer. And I think it kind of pulls that in. So I'm feeling like I want to do the Doc Martin. So that's kind of like how I choose my outfits normally. But I don't like pull pull everything out and do it that way. This all happens in my head or like I'm like holding the boot against my outfit that's hanging up. Um, that's kind of how I would do things. But um, anyway, that's the outfit of the day. I am dressed um, in layers as if it's cold because guess what? It is cold. Anything less than 75 degrees Fahrenheit to me is cold. And the high for today is supposed to be 75. Right now, I think it's like 66. I do plan on taking a walk to a cafe. I haven't decided if I'm going to do Carver Cafe. I showed you guys that a couple weeks ago, a couple video videos ago or something. Or if I'm going to take it to the tried and true Starbucks. So uh, we'll decide and uh, we'll go along. You'll, I'll take you along with me. Um, I'm going to post my outfit of the day and keep it moving. So I just completed my little outfit of the day footage. I usually do it right in front of this window because it gives me a ton of light. I'm sure you notice this background. Sometimes I do my cutaways here because I get great light from this window. Um, but anyway, I just did my outfit of the day. I'm thinking about um, posting a short for the first time. So if, if you see my short and it's this outfit, that's because I decided to go ahead and do it and test and see how it how the audience responds to those videos. I've never um, done one officially before. Um, but also I wanted to share with you one other thing. So I came to a um, revelation, discovery, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, we've been doing like this whole scent journey with perfumes and things. I decided, and sorry, it gets a little dark here because I'm headed to my bedroom. I decided that I am going to not buy the real thing with these perfumes. And the reason being is because um, 
we, you know, I, I have this oriental floor, what is this? Oriental vetiver from a uh, dossier. And this is a replica of Byredo Baldafreak. And the Byredo Baldafreak is like, I want to say $320 for a comparable size. And this one I feel like was $39. Plus, of course, you get a discount when you buy more than one. So I think this was even less. So let's say that it was $32, right? So for 10% of the price, I got um, this replica. Um, I went to the store and compared the smells and they are spot on. Now, how long it lasts, like the wear, I couldn't tell you because I haven't obviously worn bald, um, uh, Byredo Bald Afrique, um, you know, outside of just testing it in the store, it could wear longer. I don't know, but for 90% off, I'm gonna take that chance and go with the uh, replica. And then I was still considering buying the real versions of the replicas that I was buying, except over the past couple of weeks, every time I put on this Byredo Bald Afrique, my husband's like, mm, that smells good. You smell so good. You smell all vanilla and fresh and this and that. And he loves the smell without telling me I love your smell. He makes a lot of comments about this one in particular. So I'm like, I know he loves this one. I don't know if he's going, obviously, I'm, if they smell spot on, he will love the other one too. But I'm already getting the reaction that I want from this. Why spend 90% more? So my revelation is I ain't buying the real thing. I'm just going to stick with these replicas from Dossier. They do a really good job. I really like them. Um, whenever people ask me what I have on, I name the real thing because it's just too difficult to explain Dossier. <laughs> so if they want, if somebody wants to replicate the smell that I have on, I recommend they go get the real thing. So I tell them the name of the real thing. So if I ever say, you're like, well, what do you smell? What are you wearing? I'm going to say Byredo Bald Freak, and then they're going to go and it's easy for them to go get that. Um, I was at the hospital with my husband when his lip blew up and the nurse could not stop sniffing me and smelling me. She loved the rose um, perfume that I had on, but it was a dossier scent. But it was the one that was after uh, named after Le Labo uh, Rose 31. So, oh, and you know what I just found out? The number on the Le Labo um, perfumes is supposed to represent the number of ingredients that's in the perfume or in the scent of uh, well, the fragrance. Well, what do y'all perfume, scent, fragrance, all the same thing, right? So anyway, um, so the Le Labo 31, she was all over it. So I just told her Le Labo Rose 31. <laughs> so hubby decided to take me to Starbucks for not doing Carver 47. It's just easier this way. And um, I'll show you what I get. And speaking of goodies, I just got some stuff in the mail. Uh, we're going to talk about that. I just mentioned the dossier, didn't I? So we're going to talk about that. And then we're going to talk about this too, which seems quite interesting. But we'll talk about that on another video. But these are the goodies that I got in the mail today. We are about to hit the streets and go shopping though. Before we go shopping, I just discovered in one of those giveaway boxes that I had. I talked to you guys about those PR boxes. And... There is a real live plant that was in one of mine, and I don't know if it's too late to do this, but it has like, it didn't come in any dirt or anything, but it has instructions on or this real life plant. It's this caring for your air plant. I've never heard of this, but you know, you guys know I've been trying my best to grow plants, so we're gonna have to see how this, how this goes, but it's cute. Yes, and it seems like obviously if it survived in this box as long as it did, <laughs> um, I should be able to keep it alive. So I'm going to go and try this out. I remember learning what the phrase pet peeve meant back in maybe like the third or fourth grade. Um, and I've never stopped using it since. Pet peeve. People who turn without using turning signals. <laughs> Anyway, we have hit the streets. As you can see, I am in the car. And I've decided that we are headed to Nordstrom Rack. They are having a sale. The typical additional 25% uh, off clearance for their Clear the Rack sale that they have every so often. So that's where we're headed. Um, additionally, I may go meet a friend. Um, the, the friend who I bought those shirts for, the one that has a typo. So maybe I'll be dropping that off to her. Maybe she'll be amenable to getting on camera to say, 
whether she's gonna wear the shirt or not <laughs> and then um, I don't really have much planned after that um, usually on the weekends I end up going out with hubby so I always take you along with if we go get something to eat um, it's kind of gloomy out today I would have loved to be able to do like a rooftop or something today but it's pretty gloomy out and um, not really feeling that so I almost didn't even go out to go shopping because it's just so miserable out it's not raining so that is a plus but um, the gloominess just doesn't you know you just not excited anyway let me get right into this journey these bumpy ass Chicago roads you pay all this money to live here and they can't keep the streets smooth beyond me talk to you in a sec so I just spent time trying on all these weird sunglasses I do that every time I come here put on sunglasses that I know I'm not going to buy just you never know you might be surprised and now I'm just in the shoe section looking at stuff that I have no business looking at I don't need anything and I, I absolutely need nothing in terms of shoes except except maybe a pair of gray combat boots or white combat boots with no heel flat um but yeah but really in all reality I am um, I don't know what I'm doing I don't know why I'm here but I might, I might find a gym. You never know. All right. So I am back in the car and I've decided I'm going to make a few more stops. Um, I'm going to get a Slurpee. And when was the last time you've had a Slurpee? So I'm stopping at the 7-Eleven. We, I think, we don't have very many of them in the city of Chicago. It used to be everywhere, but we don't have any more. Um, but happens to be one here in the South Loop. So I'm going to get a Slurpee. Anyway, um, I was distracted in the store i wasn't able to show you a lot there wasn't much that they had um on sale by way of clearance they had like maybe four to six clearance racks um uh you saw the shoes it wasn't much i didn't pick anything up i didn't buy anything um but while i was there i did get a call from this woman who runs a facebook group i think it's just a group in general but she's also present on facebook and the group is called aecn aecn is um how you say haitian in Creole or Creole. Um, and so what she does is she highlights um, Haitian people who are making an impact in the world in certain ways. And so she was particularly drawn to the fact that, you know, I called myself just a fashion girl from Chicago and I also identify as being Haitian, all the things. And she's never in her three years doing the highlighting of Haitian people. She's never focused on the fashion aspect of things. Um, so she was, you know, asking me some questions and she wants to interview me and highlight me. So I thought that was pretty cool. So I was sort of uh, distracted because we were doing introductions and kind of talking about that. I owe her a call back right now. <laughs> so I wanted to pop on here really quick and uh, talk to you about, you know, what how things ended up in Nordstrom. So I did try on this really amazing, I think it's Alice and Olivia dress. And um, I wanted to try it on because I know that the color white is pretty humbling. It's humbling for everybody because white shows everything, everything. And um, I thought that by trying on this white dress, it could help me focus on what I need to work on on my body. So um, and also just see what the friggin dress looks like. It was way more expensive than I would ever consider to pay for a dress. I think it was like one hundred and fifty or one hundred and sixty bucks um, for this white dress. Um, but. I decided to try it on anyway, and boy, was it humbling. Um, the dress was, first of all, too small because it was like a double extra small um, body con type of dress, and I am not a double extra small anymore. Um, so that was one part of the problem, but white in general is just the second part of the problem. So, But I did want to try it on, but it was a really nice dress. The quality was really nice, but it's not something that I can necessarily get behind at the moment. <laughs> so let me go get my Slurpee. All right, let's get going. I am getting, I think something bit me. Like there was like a little stinger or something sticking out of it. That's weird, right? So I think that's going to swell up whatever that was. It was like a little black sticky thing sticking out of it. Mm. But got my Slurpee. And we're going to keep moving. I am not in the best mood right now. And I'd rather not share right now. <sighs> but I'm not in a good mood right now. Hopefully this makes it better. I got blueberry lemonade. Let's keep it moving. All right. I just came from Target. And you probably already know what I got from Target. Because I get the same thing from Target. It's really 
go here for one thing and that's my oh <laughs> that's my the l period um sanitary napkins i only get them um i don't know if they're sold other places but that's all i come to target for i can get everything else other places i don't find that there's anything that special at target that i need to just come to target so um just popped in here real quick I'm going to go to Trader Joe's next. I have, like I said, a list of things to get there. Well, tr a list of things to try to get. I'm never really ever successful with my list. So I come out of there really lackluster. So um, let's go ahead and get to it. All right. I am on the way home. Um, I had the most probably invigorating conversation about um, Haitian culture and being a Haitian in America. You know what I mean? All these things with uh, Colleen Nunley, who runs the Haitian, the IECN group I was just telling you guys about. It was probably close to a two hour conversation if we add it all up together, because I did have to drop. But that's kind of one of the best conversations I've had in a really long time. So there is gonna be a piece written um, about me this month sometime, and I will probably point you guys to it <laughs> whenever it's ready that's if i don't seem like a, a lame if i don't sound like a nerd <laughs> in the piece i'll definitely share and you guys get to see another you know another side of me i suppose um so i will gladly share that so then i also stopped at um where did i stop trader joe's i told you guys i was stopping at trader joe's and i'm thinking about doing a trader joe's taste test I always see those videos and I think they're so good. I always want to eat everything that they're eating. So I'm probably going to do a Trader Joe's taste test for the things that are um, snackable. I don't feel like cooking anything or anything today. So we're going to do the things that are snackable and I'll share that with you. And then um, hubby hit me up and was like, hey, let's go get something to eat for dinner tonight. So I think we're going to go out. Hopefully we'll try something new and I'll take you along. So um, you missed out on talking to my friend i did give her the t-shirts she says she's going to wear the one with the typos <laughs> i think that's going to be so much fun but she's going to wear the t-shirt with the typo so um i wasn't able to show her on camera because it was a tight space and it was a lot of commotion but um i definitely did get a chance to visit with her for like 2.2 minutes so let me skip on out we're going to talk about trader joe's in just a minute so I got a few things that I'm not going to taste test right now. I got some, like some frozen fried rice, some frozen oatmeal apple crisps or something like that. I got some vegan pizza. I'm not going to cook that right now. Some Brazilian cheese bread. Not cooking that right now. But I think. Oh, and uh, <laughs> I got this tofu scramble with soy riso in it. I'm not cooking that. And then lastly, the last thing I'm not going to cook is this other sort of vegetable fried rice. So these things I'm going to throw in the freezer real quick, but everything else I'm going to taste test with you. And um, I've always wanted to do this because I watch these videos, but it'd be really quick. And I'm going to get my husband's opinion on a few things too. He'll be in the background chiming in. All right, so I do have hubby ready. We're going to be starting with these um, chocolate chip ice cream sandwiches. I've always loved these when I was a kid. So what I did was cut a couple of pieces for us. And I'm going to give you, give you your, all right. So I like the mini chocolate chips. What do you like? All right. I think the cookie is nice and soft. Cookie soft. The cookie is soft. How the ice cream taste? Right. He's not giving it his due justice. I like it. Um, <laughs> this is going to be dangerous. I think that a whole cookie is probably too much, though. We might have to always share it. You think you can eat a whole? That was a fourth that I gave you, a quarter of it. He's distracted. He's texting. Um, what do you want to try next? Um, sunflower butter cookie. So I got these sunflower butter cookies. Um, I like the sunflower butter there. I actually got introduced to it by my friend Melissa, who's a realtor in um, the Milwaukee, Wisconsin area. So any of you looking for a house out there or trying to sell a house, Melissa is your girl. But that being said, years ago, she introduced me to this because my son is uh, allergic to nuts. And she's like, this is so tasty. Plus, you know, you can also kind of enjoy peanut butter and jelly sandwich type things. So 
they made this cookie i thought let's try it It got little pieces of sunflowers in it too i don't know can you see that yeah you can see that those little sort of white flecks here you go remember the sunflower butter mm -hmm. they made a cookie mm -hmm. i like that it's soft but um it's missing something mm, actually it's really good it's not missing nothing i take that back it's really good now you don't like it you don't like the aftertaste it's vegan and gluten-free so it's free of wheat milk peanuts tree nuts eggs soy and sesame so if you guys have kids like me that was allergic to everything except for air and water this is great <laughs> but it's tasty i like it i think i would just need some like milk to go with it <laughs> even though it's like milk free dairy free or whatever um i would need some sort of milk or my like chai latte or something to go with it next cookie ginger snap so I heard this one's really good. I'm a really big ginger fan. This one is the triple ginger snap. So here you go. Let me see. Mmm. Mmm. This is my favorite. This one's my favorite. What do you like? Tastes like a great school butter cream. Great? Great school butter cream. What about the ginger? You don't feel all that spice in your mouth? He said that it tastes like a grade school butter cookie, which are good cookies. Don't get me wrong because I like them. But there's all this beautiful flavor from the ginger in here. It says made with crystallized ginger, ginger puree, and ground ginger. And he said he tastes none of it. I don't know. All right, last thing. You may not want to eat all of it, but it's only half of a piece. This one I heard is really good. This is um, English toffee in milk chocolate. I don't think you want all of it. You might. Mm. I didn't, I assumed there would be nuts, but I didn't realize the pieces of nuts would be that big. What's on here? Almonds. I didn't think they would be as big as they are. They're huge. Covers the whole thing. They're good. Do you remember those score candy bars as a kid? Score? Mm -hmm. I thought those were decent, but this is this puts score to shame. This is delicious. <laughs> How about you? What you think is okay again? Mm -hmm. You think it's just okay again? It's good. It's good. Would you eat it again? Would you reach for it? This is really sweet. So. You can all yeah. He makes a good point. It is very very sweet, and I think it takes too much effort to chew. It's very crunchy, right? It's a lot of effort to eat. So I can see myself getting like a little piece like this to satisfy like my sweet tooth or chocolate craving, but not like a whole big bar like they have it in here. So that's that. And then last thing is the um, jelly beans here. I gave you three random colors, but these are supposed to be good. He said he doesn't even like jelly beans. So let's see if this sways Wait, him. They have gelatin. They're called jelly beans. No, no gelatin. It has beeswax and shit in there, but, but it's not vegan because mm -hmm. of the beeswax but um he was asking if it has gelatin in it he's um averse to knowingly eating any pork and um this does not have gelatin in it mm. um so this is a good candy alternative for those of you who are concerned about that um mm, mm. what was i wasn't prepared i sour mm, yeah I was not prepared for that. Um, you have to mentally prepare for how sour this is. It has good flavor. Uh -huh. Did you like it? It was like flavorful, candyful, fruitful, but or just yeah. only sour. Yeah, it was I sour. Think, it was sweet. It was I think coming from eating all of these kind of cookies and stuff, this was too sour for me. I'm probably not gonna eat the other two, but um, yeah. So my favorite, surprisingly, is the ginger snap. Then second is the cookies um the uh ice cream cookies did you have a favorite the butter the uh, ginger see we we're tied we both like the anyway i've always wanted to do one of these taste tests though <laughs> there you have it all right you guys we're back where we started so we um went to dinner i think i will show on the screen here we went to this place that i never tried before called the butcher's tap and it's just American gastropub type food, um, but it was really tasty. I got the nachos and hubby got some chicken fingers of some sort, chicken tenders. 
and it was really good but yeah it was it was really good i'd go back um the service was decent even though it was super busy and we had a really new server who had only been there two weeks um but it was a really um a nice experience and i'd go back i didn't get any dessert or anything i have plenty of dessert I, that i ate before we went because you saw the trader joe's taste test and i have plenty left here if i ever get a sweet tooth before I go to bed. So it is late. You can probably see it in my face right now that I'm looking a bit tired. I'm just trying, I started to peel off my clothes already. You can see my necklaces. Oh, don't mind the stuff on the floor. My shoes are off and my blazers up there. So um, I'm ready. I'm ready to just crawl into bed and just call it a night. It is probably only eight 45 8 30 8 45 but i'm tired thank you guys so much for watching hopefully if you haven't already you will consider subscribing today if you already subscribe share it with your friends because i'm pretty sure if you liked it they'd like it too come back watch another one leave me some comments and questions below bye <laughs>